not just a can opener, this is a five in one. So we were able to lift a lid, pop a top, open up a bottle of root beer, open up a big old bottle of uh, two liter soda, and then finally, Release the vacuum seal on this jar of marinara or spaghetti sauce, one of the two. All of them. Um, <laughs> now, this is first time ever. Mark Charles, you ready for this? Well, first time ever, three payments on this. Get out. We don't have three payments on can openers. 2,300 <laughs> of these ordered today. So it's important to know that we've got colors, but don't wait because with three easy payments of 666, a lot of folks are probably buying more than one. Yep. These are great gifts. Great if gifts. you have a vacation home, then go ahead and get one for the vacation home and you're ready to go. Now, I've got this for you in the following colors. This one is called purple. Purple. Beside that, we've got buttercup. Butter yep. Beside that is the black. Then we have blue. Then we have olive. This color is called olive. And then finally we have it in the red. Now, I will tell you guys, I have this identical one, except mine's solid black. Because yep. we've also offered it in solid yep. colors. It's the same mechanism for the last 15 years exactly. that I've been selling it. We just changed the outside a little I bit. I have this very same one in my kitchen, except mine's all black. And I use it all the time because there are so many times when I need so much more than just a can opener. It's a basic. But let's get back to the can opener because there was an option before. Yep. And some folks are probably still using yep. this option. Let's and show you why that may not be such a good idea. So basically, this was what we had as an option. What, what you notice here is not only just the grime and everything, but you're noticing a blade. This is actually a blade that cut into your can that created sharp edges, that created microscopic shavings of metal that fell into your food. But more importantly, and most dangerously, it touched the food. I know everybody who had a pet out there had two can openers. You had a pet can opener and a people can opener because this touched the food. So you didn't want cross contamination. You didn't want breeding bacteria, which this can opener does. The beauty behind this one is it's auto attached. There is no exposed blade. It never touches the food, so you don't cross contaminate. You can use one for people and pets, the same one, and let's show you how. Okay. We're used to going from the side, that's what would where it would cut in. We go from up top. We're actually uncrimping the can. When they put the top and the bottom on, it's called crimping the can. So what we're doing is uncrimping the can. You get a lot more dexterity and force from up top instead of the side. Once it gets a little easier for you, you're gonna reverse this to, to actually release, it, release yeah. it. Now believe it or not, this is actually opened and I'll show you how. So one of the options you have is you can use this little bird tweet, beak, tweet, okay? Tweet, tweet. You don't have to, you can get it with your hands, but the beauty behind that is just to prove something. But when when when, it, when you've got it holding the can lid, it yep. sounds more like this. Tweet, 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 because, it's, because its beak is closed. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> now, more importantly, there is no sharp edges here, which this can opener would leave. There's no sharp edges here. I'm gonna throw this right into the can, the garbage can, right? Now, more importantly, let's look at the can opener for a second. Not a drop of liquid, food, or anything that was in this can is on that can opener. I can go from dog food to baby formula immediately without any worries. Here's That's another thing that is it. important to point out. Yeah. Tomato paste. Yep. Giant chicken Big broth. <laughs> Medium sized soup. Yep. Let's and a big one. old can of peaches. And this one. Look at all it this. It can do all It'll those do different all sizes. All of these. Yeah. Okay. So now we got about right now out in the supermarket. We've been shopping. About 40% of them have the the typical can. But you know that 60% are doing pull tabs now. So what's interesting is that we put a pull tab opener in here. Why? Because I actually bite my nails, which I don't have any. Some people have manicured nails. Either way, you need a little help. With this parrot beak that's on the opposite side, look, it rolls perfectly and opens it up for you. Pretty easy, please. So I love that. So the, basically, you're taking care of all the cans here, all the pull tabs here. So that's just two of the five functions. Now, Mark Charles, think about yep. this. With this crazy good easy pay today, yep. what a nice gift idea. And maybe this year, you're being hosted for Easter or Passover. Yep. And you're going to a nice dinner, and you want to bring a little something to the hostess of the, mm -hmm. uh, of the meal. Something different that they don't have. Wouldn't this be a great idea? Now, on the face of it, you're like, I'm not bringing somebody a can opener as a hostess uh, gift, but uh, it's so much more than that. Yep. This is awesome. And you know what? Chris Prime was just saying she has the same one. She loves it. So you could bring this and pair it with a bottle of wine. Yeah, absolutely. You could do all those kinds of things. You put it in a little gadget basket for your but host, which is great. I'm half Italian. We do that that um, bread with the egg inside, baked inside of it, right? And that's very Eastery. If these colors with the polka dots don't look Eastery to you, like putting that with that with the, the loaf with the egg on it, my grandmother, if she was still around, God bless her, would love one of these with the, the edible exactly. uh, gift and then this. Let's go through our colors again and remind you we have this for you in the purple. This is Buttercup. I have it in black. Then we have blue, here it is in the olive, and finally I have it for you in the red. 
One of the features that I love, the fifth feature that we have is the uh, metal jar opener. And what's interesting about that, you don't notice that it's there, but it's actually a little ledge right here. And it's specifically for metal jars because what we don't realize is that these are vacuum sealed at the factory. So once this fits underneath there, see? Once it fits there, if you can hear it, it actually lifts right off. So you're actually releasing the pressure and well, the vacuum seal to open it up. these are vacuum sealed. Yep. So think about uh, big jars of pickles yep. or um, yeah, I'll do another one. spaghetti sauce or in this case, what are those, pepperoncinis? Pepperoncinis. So all those kinds of things that have a vacuum seal on the top. And you need to break that seal. And the way we've done it in the past was we banged it against the counter. We used a knife, maybe hot water. Or you use brute force. Brute force. And sometimes you don't got it. So now you don't need brute force because you got the five in one ready at your will. Now, I can tell you that for the day now, we've taken orders for 4,500. It's a great gift. 2,600 during this show. And again, look how easily you're going to be able to open small mm -hmm. cans, Easy large cans, please. everything at your fingertips. Don't miss this, you guys. It is K34857. We continue to be very busy on our phone lines. And Mr. Mark Charles. Yes. I understand you're coming back later with the pull and chop. The pull and chop, one of our favorites, you and me. Indeed. And so that was a little extra that. added that wasn't in the show originally. So exactly. a little surprise to Kevin, change do you it have up. something for me? Oh, I was hoping you had something oh, no. for me. I thought, Charles, we, I thought we might wait till the end, but I, I guess not. I actually have trivia for you. At the 11th hour. Fantastic. Because I know you'd be excited. I am. All right. So how heavy was the world's largest chocolate Easter egg? Okay. <laughs> was it 15.8 pounds, 158 pounds, 1,580 pounds or 15,800 pounds? Okay, my guess is always to go for the third because that's second to largest. So 1,000, the 1,000 something. Uh, okay. It was.